from Monday, May 17th, 2021. Thanks for joining us. I'm George Gerbo. The Centers for Disease Control and Prevention changed mask wearing guidelines based on plummeting cases and evolving science about the COVID-19 vaccines, Director Rochelle Walensky said. Tom Howe and Seth McLaughlin report Walensky pointed to improving pandemic metrics and new studies that show the vaccines thwart transmission and combat variants of the coronavirus. The guidance released Thursday said fully vaccinated people could go most places safely, indoors or out, without a mask. It created some confusion at the state and local levels as officials adjusted to guidance that came without warning and wasn't pegged to future metrics or President Biden's July 4th target for normalcy. The Washington Post reported Walensky signed off on the changes on Monday, only to spend the next morning fending off tough questions about cautious mask policies from Republican Senators Susan Collins, Lisa Murkowski, and others, while CDC scientists poured over the data one more time and prepped the guidance for its release. The FBI has reclassified the 2017 shooting of Republican lawmakers at a baseball field in Alexandria, Virginia, from suicide by cop to an act of domestic terrorism. Ronan Scarborough reports the new designation is contained in a lengthy FBI report titled Strategic Intelligence Assessment and Data on Domestic Terrorism. Republicans began pressuring the FBI to change the designation last month when Ohio Congressman Brad Wenstrup disclosed at a public hearing that the FBI officially classified the shooting as suicide by cop. Wenstrup was at the field when the shooting happened on June 14, 2017, in which five were wounded, including two U.S. Capitol Police officers, at a practice for the annual congressional baseball game. Wyoming Congresswoman Liz Cheney, who was removed from House Republican leadership last week after months of criticism of former President Trump and his false claims of a stolen election, continued her offensive by warning fellow Republicans that the soul of our democracy is at stake. Seth McLaughlin reports Cheney told Fox News Sunday that she intends to play a very big role in the battle for the soul of the GOP and democracy. She says she won't be part of trying to undermine and question the election process, and that it's very important for Republicans who won't be part of it to stand up. A reminder that you can find all these stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page. Don't have access yet? Visit WashingtonTimes.com slash George and get 25% off your annual subscription. In foreign affairs, Venezuelan President Nicolas Maduro is offering an unexpected olive branch to Washington now that Democrats control the White House, but the Biden administration faces pressure not to weaken sanctions from the former Trump administration. National Security Team leader Guy Taylor reports President Biden has shown little sign of easing the pressure so far, but sources say administration officials are carefully weighing how to respond to a series of surprise moves by the Maduro regime that Republicans dismiss as a scheme to stay in power. The U.S. and its allies, including a number of Venezuela's neighbors, imposed harsh sanctions on their economy three years ago, hitting particularly the oil sector and its top leadership. They contended that opposition leader Juan Guaido was Venezuela's rightful president after a fraud-ridden 2018 national election. Maduro responded by cracking down on political dissent and turning to China, Iran, and Russia for economic and military support. And finally, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez and Marjorie Taylor Greene are blazing paths to political stardom that are built less on notching legislative accomplishments and more on winning the internet and fanning flames of partisan combat. Seth McLaughlin looks at the interplay between the two ideologically different congresswomen who are playing off each other as foils in recent weeks. Greene accused Ocasio-Cortez of being a terrorist, while the New York congresswoman returned the favor, calling Greene unwell and said she needs mental help. Find all of today's front page stories at WashingtonTimes.com slash front page or on the Washington Times app and subscribe for free to the front page. Just search Washington Times on your favorite podcast platforms. You can also listen to the front page on Amazon Alexa connected devices. Just say Alexa, play the front page podcast and follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Wash Times for breaking news, sports, commentary and more. For the Washington Times, I'm George Gerbo.